Beyond the routine inspection of the filter and the pump itself when you operate the Ventus slide on pump, there are a couple of items that we can cover for some regular maintenance as well. Replacement of the filter is done by unscrewing the cap, simply removing the filter that's installed, and replacing it with a new one. And again, the only time that you would replace this filter is if it's contaminated with either a debris or possibly a chemical of some type, or if it's damaged. When the filter is installed, ensure that the white element is facing up or out of the pump. Ensure that your cap is in good repair and has an O-ring installed, and reinstall your cap. Another routine maintenance item could be the replacement of the battery itself. And these are replaced just the same as they are on the Ventus family instruments. There are four screws that retain the battery, either the lithium ion extended range, the standard lithium ion, or the alkaline battery pack. With the appropriate driver, simply loosen the four screws all the way around the battery pack. And once the last screw is completely loosened, pull the battery pack away from the pump. Now be careful. There may be a seal on there that's pretty tight and you'll have to rock the battery back and forth. But once it's apart, you can inspect the contacts for good contact and no corrosion on the pump itself. And you can also inspect the same on the battery. Now the extended range battery does come out of the case and do a complete visual inspection of the battery as well. Make sure that it's in good repair and that all of your contacts are in good condition. The case should also be in good repair. Once your inspection is concluded, you can reinstall or replace your battery as needed. Hold the battery firmly against the slide-on pump and tighten down your four screws.